Hello YouTubers, my name is Flexo013 and welcome to part 9 of the Extreme World Edit Tutorial. This time we'll be covering some extra commands that real, they, all of them are really different and you cannot place them in a really you cannot place them in any category so I just thought let's make a video for uh, them for all of these commands the first command we will use is the slash remove command the, with this command you can remove such as things as xp orb slash remove xp and oh yeah I've got the radius there we go let's make it 100 I said 100. There we go. And all of the XP orbs that were floating over here are gone. And let's say somebody died over here. And all of their stuff is over here. And you are like, I don't want to uh, dirty my inventory with all the crap somebody has. And we don't want these items floating around, don't, nobody picking them up. There's a command for that. That's slash remove items 10 or 100 whatever you want to use it's just a radius of blocks okay next command is the slash extinguish command as you can see over here we have some uh, fires burning and we don't want to have uh, everything burned down to the ground so let's extinguish this fire before they ca can cause any damage simply do slash slash x which is short for extinguish and a radius let's make it 20 right now and there we go we removed all of these fires there's uh, the next command is the drain command it will be something like this you stand over in a pool of water or lava and do slash slash drain and then you specify a radius. So if I do do three, it will drain all the water around me in a radius of three blocks. If I would make that a little bit bigger, like let's say twenty, it will drain all the water around me, which will make this place perfect for digging or whatever you want to do. You can also do this with lava, but for that you can stand right next to it and look at it, or stand in it. That's the drain command. The next command will be the slash slash or the slash fix water command. Have you ever built something like a bridge and you broke it down because you didn't like it? And left and did Minecraft leave you with something like this? Like not real water? It's all weird and stuff. You don't like this. You want to fix this. That's why we have slash fix water. And then we specify a radius, let's say 10 for now, and all the water looks perfectly normal. Like there has there like there wasn't a problem at all. You can also do the same with lava and then it's a slash fix water or a slash fix lava to to uh to execute that command. The next thing we uh, have is the data cycler. Let's say we have a regular block of wool and we need a tool for this let's make it a stone shovel this time there's our white block of wool and right now right clicking it doesn't do a thing so we will bind our data cycler to our to our stone shovel so if I right click this it will cycle right through all the available block types so for wool that would be the colors of wool for wood, that would be all the colors of wood. Oh. Um, let me. Okay. Break that and let me take a block that will work. The This block, for instance, you can data cycle it. You see? Getting different colors of wood or log actually okay and now the next thing we can don't need the data cycler anymore is a replace tool 
this, you can bind to pretty much anything, so I can do slash replace. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, it should be working right now. Yeah, there we go. It is bound to our hand. So if I left click something, it will switch to that kind of block. If I right click it, it will change the block that I clicked to my selected block. So I could do this. I could select that and make gra a grass down there. Or uh, you can pretty much select anything you want and replace it. Which is quite handy for making patterns and walls and just you you can pretty much fix anything with it like send over here just hold down the right mouse button and fix all of these problems over here and the next command is the slash remove near command or the slash slash remove near let's say we want to get rid of these long grass uh, blocks over here we simply do the slash slash remove near that will be remove blocks near the player of uh, a certain data value the data value for long grass is 31 colon 1 you can look this up on the site in the description and there we go all the blocks are removed in a fairly large area around me I could show you the same over here I could do leaves I could do pretty much anything you can also specify a radius and that would be let me to, uh, for example if I use vines and a radius of 30 then all the vines are removed in a radius of 30 around me okay sorry for the transition people somebody was disturbing me on Skype and I uh, thought I would better cut that part out so the next command which we will use is the slash slash um, fill command. This command will fill an entire area to some to any block of your liking. So let's say we want to fill this hole over here with grass because this doesn't look li look nice. Make sure there are blocks around you. So let's do this. Slash slash fill this entire area and then you have to specify a block type, radius, and the depth. Let's say the, the depth is 3. And now it changed uh, everything within that radius to grass. No more hole. So you can do this over here with this tiny hole. But make sure that you don't put a very large radius because otherwise you are very likely to crash certain servers because the slash fill command is one of the things that is really really uh, gaining on its block changes a lot and then, uh, the next command we uh, will discuss in this extra video is the slash info command this will be uh, this requires to be bound to a tool and I will use a different one than I just used, let's say the golden shovel. You simply do slash info when you're holding the tool, and now the info tool is bound to the golden shovel. This will tell you info like uh, what kind of block it is, what's the data value, what are the, the coordinates, and especially the light. What's the light level on that certain block? So if I would place a block on top of this, the light level will decrease one. Did you see? The uh, maximum light level is 15, and now it's 14. And if I make it even more dark down there, now it's 13. And you can do this pretty much everywhere. I can even dig myself in, and now it will say that the, the light value is zero, because we can see anything down there. And the final tool we will, uh, uh, or final extra command that we will talk about for now is a slash lr build command. And then um, it's fairly easy. Just get a, get yourself a tool, 
and left uh, it's a, it's actually a short for left uh, right build you can say um, I want my white wool on the left click and my black wool on right click so if I, I oh I have to select a tool of course so right clicking would place a block uh, of white wool or uh, left clicking would place a block of white wool right clicking would make black wool left clicking white wool doesn't that look nice? I mean it's certainly handy don't you think? so this was the last command that we used uh, for now in this extra video there might there are still a few commands remaining but you're almost done with this world edit tutorial i hope to see you on episode 10 bye bye